So today we are going to start working on the inventory management system UI in React. We are going to set up the UI template we are going to be using for this inventory management system. And this is exactly what I set up previously. We are going to be using what is called the core UI admin template. And I'm going to show you how to get it for free. It's almost like a professional uh, template, but I'm going to show you how to get it for free. Let's go ahead to get started to set up the React UI for this application. And we are not going to be starting from the scratch to create React app because we already have the template for the UI. So we are simply going to use it. So what you should do is to go to the website, which is the inventory MS complete application, the React UI uh, page, and you have the step-by-step -step, uh, process of creating this UI actually actually setting up this template for this application what we should do we will in this tutorial set up the ui template establish communication with the rest api set up user authentication set up crowd for various applications and add stats to the dashboard set up routes for navigation and just in case this is the complete almost complete application although it's not quite complete you see that we have the stats we have the zero uh, zero is here because we've not placed any other this month because I've not been doing anything. But in case you want to just see how uh, how the stats work, if I create a new object here, you'll see that the statistics in the UI is going to change. Let's just try. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's just try. So I'm going to um, just say Tesla, for instance, and it's going to be electric. So I want to check if the stats is going to statistics is going to increase or change electric vehicles and the statistics is just okay added so let's see if we go to the next page or we can actually search for it Tesla okay it's right there so if I go back to my dashboard uh, let's look at brands okay yeah great so you can see brands have increased we have one brand added this year so everything is working in this UI and I'm going to show you how to set it up as for the API, we also have it working. We set up this API in the previous eight lessons. This is lesson nine of this inventory MS tutorial. And there are a number of things we are going to still do in the API, for instance, deploying to cloud services like AWS, Microsoft Azure, DigitalOcean, Heroku, Render, and a few other ones. I'm going to take you through how to do all this. It may be five minutes for each or maybe 10 minutes for each. I just want to show you how to deploy to different platforms because I want you to learn as much as possible. Also, we are going to set up JWT uh, after now. But let's go ahead to set up the UI. Now, the UI we are going to be using, the template uh, to get it, you can actually go to this page, scroll down to set up the core UI template, and you can click on this link in this page. Now, if you don't go through this link, it may ask you for registration. So if you go to look for the core UI template, then it's gonna ask you for registration. But if you go through this link, it takes you directly to this page where you can actually get it for free. And here you can now go to code and what you wanna do is to download the zip. If you download the zip, it downloads to your downloads folder. Before I continue, I'd like to mention that if you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And also, if you are joining this course for this first time, there are previous tutorials we've covered. Please try to complete them because at the end, we are going to be having an enterprise inventory management system we are going to put out there for sale. If you want to join me in this community, um, let's do this together. Click on the join button below. You can also support me in different ways. But at the end of the day, this will be a world-class inventory management system that you are going to see used around the world. And this is exactly what I promise you if you join my community. Let's go ahead to continue. So at this point, I have this, uh, this downloaded. And if I go to my download folder, I will see uh, this uh, file. And it's a zip file you can see. So I'm going to simply unzip it uh, using the archive utility. I'm going to unzip it and it unzips. So I'm going to copy everything inside and put it inside another folder. So I'm going to copy this. And I have a folder where I place the inventory uh, management system in my documents. And I'm going to simply create a new folder. I'm going to call it inventory inventory ms and it's going to be react ui 
and actually React underscore UI. So I'm going to go ahead to rename it. I want to call it React dash UI. And here now, I'm going to give me one second. Yes, this is the correct one. So I'm going to simply paste these items I copy. At this point, we are going to open this folder using VS Code. Now I'm going to show you how to run your package, your, your application in a different port if you have one port already in use. So let me open up VS Code. Uh, let me see if I can find VS Code right here. I think it's already open. So let's. Okay, so this is VS Code, and I'm going to open that folder in VS Code, and we are going to run this application. So I'm going to say open and I'm going to choose the folder. The folder is right here in solutions, I think. Go to inventory, yes. And it's going to be inventory MSUI, this folder. I'm going to click on open. Now we are going to try to run this application and it's going to fail because it's already run. There's an application running on port 3000. But let me just check. So if I say um, npm run run start and i think oh it okay so it chooses a different port port 3001 and if i try to run open it or to visit the link you can see that it launches immediately so let's give it a few seconds so these are hard coded values so this is not exactly like mine so if you look at mine right here this is mine and this is what you have. So we have a bit of tweaking to do, a bit of customization to get exactly what we want. So you see that this is completely two different things. You can see what we set up right now. And this is what we want to achieve, right? But for now, if you've come this far, this is okay. If you come to this point, that is okay. Uh, what I'll recommend you do is take some time to figure out different sections of this uh, UI. I mean, the code structure uh, the co code structure, how the component is arranged. So what it means you should go to your SRC, take a look at the components, find out what component controls the UI dashboard. And if you find out you want to maybe try to see if you can understand various parts of this dashboard. For instance, you can see we have the profile section. If you click on profile, nothing happens. You can also see the project section, have messages and nothing happens actually. And I don't think anything happens. Okay, there are some other things happening here. So try to understand the various parts of this UI. So I think at this point, I'd like to, to end this tutorial and allow you to do this setup yourself. And one thing I also want to mention is this, this template is using a framework called VIT. And this is only what you need to know. Later on, you'll see how it applies is a is a framework that helps us build our application and easily be able to deploy it without having to worry about installing different build tools or webpack and other things so this vit uh, is very handy and if i go to can see right here if you run the start it actually runs using the vit framework uh, for now you don't have to worry i'm going to show you how it works uh, later on so do this setup the page here is right there in the description of this video Try to follow the, the link and do this setup yourself. The next part we are now going to continue with. The next part we are going to actually establish communication with the REST API. We are going to set up authentication because if you look at the complete one, can I, I can actually actual, uh, I can actually log out and I log out and I can also go ahead to log in. So this we are going to do together in our new. Uh, setup. So now we've not done this. So thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed. If you want to join my community, let's complete building this enterprise inventory management system and put it out there for sale. Maybe in a few months you'll see and understand exactly what I'm saying, that this is going to be a very, very big project and it's going to be AI powered because I'm working on how to include some intelligence uh, in this system using LLMs and later on I'm going to be talking about this but if you want to learn about how I'm setting up the tool for building our new LLM there's a link that takes you to the tutorial on PyTorch because you need knowledge of PyTorch to be able to learn about LLMs if you want to learn a bit of that if you're interested in that 
please also click on that link to take you to my tutorial on PyTorch and, and then my website on PyTorch as well. All right, so we've seen the nice parts I remain kind on the Tech Pro. If you have challenges following, please leave me a comment below. Also like this video and activate notification and then I meet you in the next part.